Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's War Game World, and this is the Fort William Henry completion video. Um, I have two more wall sections yet coming from Josh. I've been dealing with this Fort William Henry on and off, so right now we are going to be putting a wash on the wood with a dry brush. It's 50% uh, black gray paint with water. We're going to hit all the wood structures, let it dry, and then we're going to flock this. Uh, we're going to hit it with flocking, and then the last thing is I got to put that little door, escape hatch, sally port, um, and this will be the end of the Fort William Henry, other than two more small wall sections from at, from Josh at some point. So um, I'm going to start painting and then let that dry and come back to you a bit later. Well welcome back. We have uh, placed a light coat of black gray wash. It toned down the uh, the red as you can see and pretty happy with this and you know I just have so many irons in the fire uh, getting things done sometimes between two YouTube channels uh, board war games and everything I'm trying to do to help promote history so uh, trying to get a little bit more organized so the next thing to do is by the way some of these little cracks here they're gonna get filled with lichen and here is where we're gonna have our little sally port thing little doorway alright well the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be flocking this that's right we're gonna throw flocking on it and uh, the black wash needs to dry a little bit more and then we'll hit it with some flocking and then uh, I'm really happy to be done with this project and then all those French Indian War figures that I own and the extras will be a French Indian War battle uh, for Fort William Henry and that's it for now um, the next segment tied into this will be the flocking procedure. Hello everyone. Well, we have our black wash on our fort. So, it's time for to apply the flocking. And we have our gloves on. We're going to open up our paint goop. And we have our paint goop here. So, I put the flocking material, and the flocking material, by the way, was donated by the famous author and historian Scott Mingus. And he is probably my favorite Civil War author. I reviewed one of his books um, already. But, uh, anyhow, um, Gettysburg in Miniature. So we're stirring up our Elmer's glue and green paint about a 50-50 mix and all right now we're gonna take our our wall section here and all we're doing is we're painting this with green just like that Painting it. You know, if I get a little bit on the wall, it won't matter that much. And so there we are. And just for the heck of it, we'll put some on this wall here. Now I'm not painting the back, really. I'm going to leave that dirt. Okay, so I got this giant drawer. And so now we're just going to shake this thing up. And we have flocking. All right. So there's one section. What do you think of that? We have, uh, so let's, um, 
we're going to zap off the other sections. I'm going to set that off to the side and pause the camera. Well, we're we're flocking along <laughs> and uh Flocking done for all the small pieces. Now the big giant thing here, our bastion, well, darn thing weighs about 10 pounds by the way. We are going to flock it. I guess I gotta pause the camera. Hold on. Okay, the darn thing weighs a ton. I'm trying to do different ways of uh, lock in this thing between the styrofoam and the piece itself it's solid resin from the 3d print so we're it's quite a now Fort William Henry um, if you haven't been there the one bastion is full of gift shop stuff. It's quite amazing, including Bill Molino games. Wilderness Empires by Worthington Games that I designed, they had them stacked floor to ceiling. Um, Grant Wiley gave them a great deal um, for their games for the gift shop many years ago. I think Wilderness Empires has been out of print now for several years. So we have our flocking done on the bastion. So are we ready to uh, try to put some flocking material on it? Um, so what I'm going to try to do is try to get my arm out of the picture and I'm just gonna throw flocking on it and I guess I'll pause the camera alright we have one bastion done and it's been flocked and I think that goes like that can you see that everybody alright we're gonna zap off the next one Bring that one over. All right. And we're going to move this piece down. Okay, everyone, let's zap off this next one. All right, everyone. Well, Fort William Henry being flocked is done. Just have to add some lichen. We're going to put the little sally port door there. And so let's take a, a walk around Fort William Henry. 
All right, well, Fort William Henry is completed. We have two more small wall sections yet that Josh is making for me. Um, it probably weighs, um, each bastion weighs over 20 pounds. It's solid plastic, resin on styrofoam. Um, this project has taken me several months because I just kept doing other things. So we have completed Fort William Henry. I have the buildings for the interior. Um, we will lay siege to this probably in January. November I have the Alamo, and then we have the Battle of the Bulge, probably a couple scenarios during December. Don't forget to subscribe. All my YouTube money goes to a historic site each time YouTube pays me. And currently uh, this next payment goes to the Maryland Veterans Museum in La Plata, Maryland. Thank you everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and be courteous.